हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू यू जी सी ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर लुबना सिद्दीकी फ्रॉम जोग्राफी डिपार्टमेंट जे एम आई टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पॉइंट पैटर्न एंड नियरेस्ट नेबर एनालिसिस विच कम्स अंडर द पेपर क्वान्टिटेटिव टेक्निक्स इन जोग्राफी नाउ इंट्रोडक्शन इन जोग्राफी डॉट्स आर द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज सिम्बल इन क्वान्टिटेटिव मैपिंग A dot is used to describe or show the pattern of settlement using points or dots. The nearest neighbor analysis is an example of point pattern analysis, pattern of features under study. A nearest neighbor analysis that is NNA is a descriptive statistics that shows a pattern of locating features by comparing graphically the observed nearest neighbor distance. that is it describes phenomenon based on its distance from another phenomenon in space the nearest neighbor analysis do not only examine distance between points it also examines the closest point to it according to featheringham et al according to featheringham et al 1994 and wolder 1999 the nearest neighbor analysis can be used to describe both human and physical features to know the proximity of points for example settlement and vegetation the nearest neighbor analysis technique was devised by a botanist who wished to describe and provide a quantitative description of the patterns of plant distribution especially the distribution of trees the early beginnings of nearest neighbor analysis can be attributed to the pioneering works of P J Clark and F C Evans in 1954 is their attempt to describe and analyze the pattern and distribution of trees and other plants in the forest however since geographers are interested in the study of the pattern of distribution of phenomenon over a space the techniques of the nearest neighbor has since been adapted for geographical studies as such the in the nearest neighbor analysis has since evolved to it been used to identify a tendency towards or calculate the degree of nucleation that is clustering or dispersion of phenomena in space the nearest neighbor analysis can be used to analyze the distribution of schools hospitals buildings settlement and a myriad of physical features such as wells springs mountains hills etc on the earth surface since geography is described as science of spatial relationships of phenomena the location of human activities that is socio economic as well as cultural and their distribution pattern have great importance in geographical studies distribution of any human activity over a space is unubiquitous in nature so the question of location choice of activities is answered by studying their distribution pattern nearest neighbor analysis that is nna provides basis of measuring point pattern of an area or region which would help in understanding the spatial processes of the distribution of human activities spatial association and distribution of settlements on the surface of the earth is uneven because the evolution processes of each of them are different from one another and are controlled by the different geographical factors like physiography climate soil natural vegetation and socio cultural factors also if settlements are considered as points over a space then the distribution of points is one of the main dimensions of studies related to activity distribution the present analysis provides basis of measuring various arrangements of points or location of settlements a set of points of an area can be arranged in a number of ways but three basic patterns are recognized namely regular or uniform clustered and random a uniform pattern occurs when the interval between points is similar a clustered arrangement is where they appear in bunches separated by gaps a random pattern is one 
in which the spacing could have been determined by chance or by using the random number table. However, these patterns are not mutually exclusive as clustering may occur regularly and even spacing may arise at random. The degree of regularity or clustering of points in an area can be judged very easily by I. It is easy to give the label of clustered, regular or random to these patterns because their forms have been made rather obvious. But it is very difficult to distinguish less obviously clustered or regular patterns from one which could have arisen from random. Nearest neighbor analysis helps us in understanding these patterns which evolve over space because of different geographical factors. The study of points or settlements distribution in order to discern any regularity in spacing by comparing them with a theoretical random pattern is called nearest neighbor analysis. It is a method of exploring pattern of locational data by comparing geographically the observed distribution with the nearest neighbor distance that is NND. It describes the distribution of points according to their spacing. This analysis is done with the help of an index called nearest neighbor index that is NNI which was originally devised by the plant ecologist Clark and Evans in the year 1954. It was originally developed to measure the pattern of incidence of different tree species and was later subsequently applied to the study of understanding the distribution of settlements. However, much of the pioneering work of this kind has been done by King and Desi in geography. In the study of a spatial distribution of settlement, NNA measures the distances between each nearest point and then compares these with the expected values for a random sample of points with a complete spatial randomness. In simple words, it may be said that it measures the ratio of mean of the observed nearest distance with the average expected distance over space to get a randomness index of point distribution called Rn. However, it depends upon two assumptions. Number one, all places or locations of an area are equally likely to be the recipient of an event and number two, all events are independent at each location. In measuring the distribution of points over an area, the distance between a pair of nearest points is measured and then mean distance of all the point pairs that is n1 where n is equal to number of points is calculated. In clustered distribution when points are close to each other such mean distance will obviously be low while on the other hand higher value of mean distance will exhibit relatively high spacing between points and obviously it shows it shows randomness of distribution. To allow comparison between different point patterns and to standardize the results, the overall density of points in the area, the Rn value shows results of point distribution. Figure given below shows three imaginary situations in which points are distributed over an area. One pattern shows loose clusters, the other shows a regulated spacing and the third one is random distribution of points. Random in this context means the outcome of the processes of location in which any point has the same chance like other points occurring at a particular place on the map or each and every place or point has the same chance of receiving occurrence of an event. However, location of each point does not have influence of the other point. Points are fixed over a space. The nearest neighbor index will produce a result ranging from a minimum as 0 to 2.15 where the following distribution patterns form a continuum. Figure 1 shows three imaginary location patterns measured as clustered, regular and random.
The scaling for identifying the distribution pattern is given below as shown in figure 2. If Rn value is close to 0, the distribution pattern is considered as clustered if around 1.00 that is 0 0.5 to 1.5 it is random if rn approaches towards 2.0 the pattern is uniform and if very close to 2.15 that is the maximum is perfectly uniform figure 2 shows rn scale the nearest neighbor index that uh, the nearest neighbor index that is nni is a complicated tool to measure precisely the spatial distribution of a pattern and see if it is regularly dispersed that is probably planned randomly dispersed or clustered it is used for spatial geography that is study of landscapes human settlements cbds etc nna shortcut settlement often appears on the maps as dot the pattern of these dots are difficult to describe. Sometimes patterns are obvious, nucleated, dispersed, nearest neighbor helps to determine the pattern. It allows one region to be compared with another. Now procedure for calculation. The procedure is as follows. Number one. Locate the points or settlements on a map which are to be analyzed. For example, figure 3 illustrates the distribution of 27 villages located in a part of Udaipur district of Rajasthan. The points data are collected from topo sheet number at RF 1 is to 50,000 having a extent from 24 degree to 24 degree 5 minutes north latitudes and 73 degree 35 minutes to 70, 73 degree 40 minutes east longitudes with a total area of about 79.55 square kilometer. Number 2. Connect all the villages with their nearest neighbor points or villages and measure their crow fly distances to calculate the average NND for the area under consideration as shown in table 1. Figure 3 shows a part of Udaipur district of Rajasthan. Table 1 shows location of the villages of a part of Udaipur district and their distances with the nearest neighbor villages. Now measure the distance between each village town. Number 3. Now measure the distance between each village or town and its nearest neighbor village location. Frequently only settlements which are close to each other are considered as nearest neighbor and population may be used as an alternate to functional content in establishing those which qualify. If any settlement of the study area has location of nearest neighbor village outside it, these can be included provided that the necessary information is available for them. In this case, the villages outside the study area are to be ignored. Now for Calculate the mean of the distance recorded in the previous step to give the observed mean distance between villages and their nearest neighbors D bar 0. In the, presence, oh, in the present case that is D bar 0 is equal to 1.15 km per point when total length of all pairs of villages is 31.10 km for 27 number of villages that is 31.1 upon 27. Fifth, calculate the density of points in the area that is P. Density that is P is equal to number of points that is N. Total area that is A is equal to 0 0.339 points per villages per square kilometer. Now six, calculate the expected mean distance between the villages and their nearest neighbor in a random distribution. It is shown that expected mean distance that is d bar e is equal to 1 upon a square under root p is equal to 1 upon a square under root 0 0.339 is equal to 0 0.86 kilometer per point. Note that the density of villages is converted into the linear distance by using concept of circle geometry. 
so resulted value is shown in kilometer per point or village now 7 calculate rn value to determine the distribution pattern which is the ratio between the observed and expected means of calculated distances as has been represented by the formula nearest neighbor ratio that is rn is equal to d bar o upon d bar e is equal to 1.15 upon 0 0.86 is equal to 1.337 where d bar o is equal to mean of the nearest observed distance d bar e is equal to expected distance where d bar e is equal to 1 upon square under root p and p is equal to density of points in an area n upon a any calculated value for rn will fall somewhere between 0 to 2.15 the smaller is the value the more clustered will be the pattern and higher the value the more regular will be the pattern this indicates that an rn value of 0 will indicate a complete clustering which means that there is maximum aggregation of all the points at one location one indicates a random distribution while 2.15 indicates a regular pattern in case of village study rn is equal to 0 will indicate a compact distribution of buildings while rn is equal to 2.15 will indicate a complete dispersed situation in the above example a value of 1.337 indicates a near random situation but the term random describes only the appearance and not the factors which produced it nearest neighbor analysis is useful for simple objective comparison the distribution of villages in udaipur district of rajasthan may be directly compared with similar patterns with other parts of the country in practice rn are unlikely to approach very closely to either end of the scale of possible values and it is as well to avoid to avoid labeling distribution as uniform or clustered the value of rn may fall between 0 to 1 or from 1 to 2.15 which may indicate either approaching cluster or or approaching uniform distribution if the value of d bar e is significantly different from d bar o otherwise the distribution should be considered as random as the difference between observed and expected is attributed to the chance factor only this situation can be answered by inferential statistical methods if the sets of observations are a sample or treated as such the probability that the pattern could have arisen by chance can be established by a statistical test now number two z statistics the deviation between observed and expected nearest neighbor mean distances is tested to use a z statistics derived such z such that z is equal to d bar e minus d bar o upon s d e where s d e refers the term standard error of the expected mean nearest neighbor distance that has been found to be s d e is equal to 0 0.26136 upon n into n upon a where n is equal to number of observations and a is equal to the area greater the difference between the observed and expected average distances the larger are the values of the z test which shows greater the probability of non-randomness of observed pattern and vice versa however this test requires a large number of points not less than 100 to test the probability of randomness in understanding point distribution now three an example of nearest neighbor analysis to show distribution of service centers another real world example may now give more clear picture of nna in order to solve the problems involved in service center distribution in tezpur subdivision of sonitpur district of assam there are 23 service centers in the central part of subdivision and are influenced by the emerging road network as shown in figure 4. Through the use of NNA, an emerging distributional pattern of these service centers is to be determined to
to make the spatial planning of infrastructure development. Figure 4 shows distribution pattern of service centers in Tezpur subdivision. Having gone through the procedure of calculation of RN value of the location of service centers as given above and determining NNI in the study area, it is found that random index is 1.0786. It is very close to 1.0 but slightly approaching towards uniform as shown in table 2. It is to be tested by using Z-test procedure. Table 2 shows determination of nearest neighbor index of service centers in Tezpur subdivision. Now for test of significance. Z is equal to D bar E minus D bar O upon S D E where S D E is equal to 0 0.26136 upon N into N upon A is equal to 0 0.26136 upon N into N upon A is equal to 0 0.26136 upon 0 0.3172730 is equal to 0 0.8237 therefore z is equal to d bar e minus d bar o upon s d e is equal to 8.1586 minus 7.53 is equal to 8.1586 minus 7.5636 upon 0 0.8237 is equal to 0 0.7223 Comparing the Z value with probability table value, it is found that distribution of service centers is insignificant at both 5% and 1% level of significance. Hence, the value of RN shows a random distribution. Now, number two, variance index. Variance index is about density test. It is also used to signify the point density that is an important parameter of NNA. It is calculated with the formula V is equal to 4 minus pi upon 4 d pi where d is the density of points in the given area is equal to 0 0.85840734 upon 4 into 0 0.00437 into pi is equal to 0 0.85840734 upon 0 0.05491503939 is equal to 15.63. Thus, from the above analysis, it can be observed that the value of V, that is variance index, is higher than the value of D bar E, that is expected mean distance. Therefore, distribution of service centers in the subdivision of Tezpur district is interpreted as clustered. However, the distribution pattern determined as random in earlier case with Z statistics. It shows a random pattern mainly due to the fact that northern part of the subdivision is covered by forest. It can finally be concluded that Z statistics is used for the test of NNI which is more relevant in present case while variance index test that uh, while variance index test the validity of point density it is used as parameter in the earlier case now nearest neighbors pros and cons number 1 pros number 1 simple to implement number 2 flexible to feature or distance choices number 3 naturally handles multi-class cases. Number four, can do well in practice with enough representative data. Now cons, nearest neighbor technique is however not free from drawback. Number one, large search problem to find nearest neighbors. Number two, storage of data. Number three, must know we have a meaningful distance function. In addition, the calculation of the index is a time-consuming process when the number of points in the pattern is large. In such a case, chi-squared analysis serves a better purpose. I hope you have understood the concept of point pattern and nearest neighbor analysis. See you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.